Well, good goddamn, boy, yo. It's 2021. We made it through that hindsight of 2020, and it was a wild ride. Pandemics, riots, fucked up shit. <laughs> but we, we endured, we survived, and we made it to a new year. New year, new me. New year, new you. At the January. And it was crazy, because... It seemed like 2020 spilled into 2021. We had some ma- some amazingly crazy stuff within the first week. We had a insurrection attempt. And, you know, I'll be the first to say, you know, it says, you know, if the government becomes too corrupt and too powerful, we're supposed to overthrow it and start again. So I'm not against ideas of overthrowing the government, but it was like, really? You're going to overthrow it for that orange bastard? You want to overthrow democracy for a dictatorship, a fascist dictatorship to be exact, over the chosen Cheeto from God? Oh, Lord. And, you know, I don't like talking about politics, but sometimes politics is what makes the world go around. And I thought it was crazy. You know, for months, they fought amongst themselves, them senators and representatives, about how much money us American people should get back to help us through a crazy pandemic when we're locked up. And, uh, you know, $600 is too much. Uh, $1,000 is too much. These people are about to get kicked out of their homes because you won't renew the, uh, no ki- you know, the no kicking out of apartments and no kicking out of leaves in the middle of a pandemic because people lost their jobs. You won't renew that bill. And then, oh, $600 should be enough to get you through, and you should invest that $600. That's what they were saying, you know? When we give you this money, you should invest it and pay off some of your debt. 600 bucks won't even pay the fucking rent. How are you supposed to pay back debt and invest that? Idiots. But if hedge funds and billionaires and millionaires start losing money overnight in 24 hours, man, these people can get together and try to make new laws and new rules to make sure us commoners don't make money on the stock market, you know, because that's the rich man game. That's the elitist class game. They can treat America and the economy like a casino, but if us normal people try to make a little bit of money, well, they can't have that. So Robin Hood, who takes money from the rich and gives it to the poor, just starts blocking that, saying, no, no trading amongst you commoners. You don't get to have money. We only get to steal it from you. You don't get to steal it from us. So it just shows you how fast the government can work and can get together if they really want to try to fix things. You know, how many years has it been since Flint has had contaminated water? And there's more cities than that. That's just the biggest one most people will hear of is Flint, Michigan. But there's other cities throughout this country that have bad water, and we can't fix that because it costs too much money. Like, feeding us costs too much money. But good goddamn, let's bail out these mega corporations and let's make new bombs and make more guns and more planes, you know, because war is a business. And the machines of war makes a lot of money for the rich. So keep dumping money into the military budget. But us people who pay their salaries, who pay the taxes to keep this country going, we can suffer and we can get kicked out of our homes and lose everything. But, you know... That's the way of the world. That's the way of the United States, I guess. I just don't get things, man. It's a new year, new me. New year, new you. And I just... I want to try to focus on the good of life. After last year, you know, 2020, the year isolation and depression took over. I want a new beginning. But we're still in the mid-chapter of this fucking pandemic. Now there's three different variants that they don't know if the vaccine will work against. And like the UK variant supposedly is more contagious and can kill you faster. So we got all this to worry about. They're still trying to open up government or um, the economy. They're still trying to get jobs back. They're still trying to pump, pump us to go out and work. But the virus is raging and it's mutating. It could kill more. But good goddamn, let's keep the wheels of this machine going. And I get it. The way the world's set, we need money to survive. It's not about going out and catching your food and growing your food. It's about paying bills and making sure the rich get richer while the poor stay poor. I don't see why the, the rich would be scared to get poor with that super 
work ethic they people always claim that the rich have you know well they're they're rich because they have this great work eth- work ethic well they got this great work ethic and they get poor they'll get rich again so let them get poor who fucking cares they'll be rich and you know if they do become poor you know the money will trickle down to the bottom like we've been told since the 80s that trickle down economics always works but or you know they could get on the benefit system that's so cushy everyone says but I digress again it's January let's have some good days this year Let's try to focus on good. Let's try to focus on happy. I know I'm going to try. I love you, brother. I'll talk to you later. You be safe. And just try to smile more. That's what I'm trying to do. Be safe.